I um, I just thought somebody asked how to make shapes in Sumo, so I thought I'd do it very quickly um, because I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, you start with a new layer. Um, the way I got that texture was I started with a gradient, just like so, and then I added a new layer over here. Then I take my pencil tool and I scribble. Da -da 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 Da, da, da. Usually I use a smaller uh, diameter, but and then since that's on a separate layer over here, um, I go ahead and go to filters, distort, and triangular pattern. And so you've got a pattern already. So I just randomize until I get something that looks like it will look cool. Go ahead and shrink it until it's very small. I wish I had used a smaller pattern. Um, or a smaller pencil width because this looks a little weird. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and select that. Push OK. I lighten that a bit just so that it's not quite so predominant, like so. And then I merge it down to the gradient layer. Merge layer down. And then I go ahead and stylize and emboss that just so you kind of get that sort of interesting texture and you can you know play with how bumpy you want it. Okay. So then I go ahead and duplicate that layer. And on this layer, we go ahead and choose the Move tool, Free Transform, and I choose the Warp tool up here. And I usually like to choose the second to third one over here so that we have some space. Expand here so we can see our squares, and we just go ahead and shape it like this, or however you want. So just uh, what we're doing is we're kind of warping it here. So let's say we warped that and we like that. So then go ahead and take your bottom layer here and kind of blur that a li little bit so it looks like it's in the background. I would go ahead and gauge and blur it. Put it on low, looks a little better. And then I like darken it a bit so that it looks like it's more in the background. Okay. And then let's go ahead and duplicate that blurred layer. And we'll choose the second one and we'll go ahead and filters, um, 3D effects, and I think I did a cube on that one, cube designer. You can see we've got our cube there go ahead and turn it how we want it, you know, whatever shape looks good to you. Um, and then we can adjust the lighting. I don't usually, this lighting's kind of weird to me, so I, I guess I like that a little better. And go ahead and, uh, oops, let's see. Yeah, I guess that looks good. And we'll go ahead and re-choose just the regular transformation tool so we can shrink it a bit. Right. And let's duplicate that layer, and we'll take the underneath one, and we'll move it down here, but we'll move it on top of this one here, so we can kind of move it down, so it's going to look like a shadow, adjustments, hue and saturation, take the brightness all the way down, okay, kind of do like that, and then blur it, blur, Gaussian blur, Okay, so now it looks like a shadow of that. And then to make that other kind of odd shape, I took this bent layer here, duplicated the layer, took that, and went to 3D effects and chose sphere. You can see it's kind of an odd, odd shape. So we kind of turn it to, oh wait, that's just the light, sorry. Um, turn it to how we, to, to look, looks like kind of a cool shape like, like that. And take it to a radius that looks appropriate. Let's take, choose that, and then we'll move it over here, and we'll go ahead and, yeah, let's move it over here. Eh, let's move it over here. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and uh, just do a layer effect, drop shadow, because this one's actually on that layer, so drop shadow looks more natural. Make it a little further distance, choose the angle, so it's more on this thing, and blur it a bit, and turn down the opacity there you go. There's kind of your shapes right there. You can go ahead and flatten the image and adjust hue and saturation if you like. You know, change the colors up a bit, whatever looks good to you. Let's say we like that. Or we can go ahead and just colorize the whole thing. And I always tend to like these sep sepia tones. Let's make it nice and gold. Like that. And I think in the other one I actually took the back layer and I put a drop light on the cube and stuff. But um, that uh, is basically how you do it. Very easy, and I uh, hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.